Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know my hair looks crazy, right? This is not the finished result. Don't worry, I know it looks a bit kind of orangey, kind of peachy toned right now, but I finally got the toner. Obviously I can't go to the shop and get it at the moment, so I've had to order it and wait. And it came early, so I'm gonna finish my hair today. But in the meantime, I thought, why not celebrate the new hair color by doing some really cool graphic pink liner to go with it. Yeah, I just wanted to have a bit of fun with my makeup, challenge myself a little bit and kind of just have fun with my new look. Obviously you can change out the colour of the eyeliner for any eyeliner you want. I think it would really look cool just as a like statement black liner as well with like a red lip or something like that. It was tricky but it's definitely doable. Like if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it. So if you want to know how, then just keep on watching. Kicking it off with a bang, we are using the U-Tan Jamie Genevieve CBD infused facial tanning mist. It is incredible, that is all I need to say. And then I'm going to try primer. I haven't used primers for ages but I want the skin to be absolutely flawless and stay that way so yeah. I thought I'd use a primer. So for foundation, I am just buffing in my favorite kind of luminous foundations. Everything will be linked down below. And I'm using the Beauty Blender Pro to do that. For concealer, I'm making sure that I conceal any, 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 any blemishes because I want my skin to be flawless for this look to ensure that the graphic liner is the standout piece of the look and that there's no distractions. After doing that, obviously I'm going to highlight just to brighten up my face. Then I'm gonna set the highlight with this Huda Beauty powder. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one is beautiful. It stays all day, it doesn't move, it doesn't go cakey. It's the most stunning powder I've used. I'm guessing I've probably been living under a rock, to be honest. Blue face, it busts another. So the Benefit Precisely My Brow has been one of my favourite brow products for such a long time now. I use it every single day purely because it is very precise as it would say in the name and yeah the colour is lovely and it just stays all day. It's great. And then I'm gonna go in with the high brow glow, which I've never used before, just to highlight under my brow and kind of clean up the line of my eyebrows. And yeah, I really liked it actually, it was very nice. Now we're getting to the most important part, which is designing the outline and the basic structure of the eyeliner. So for this, I took a white colored creamy eyeliner. I took the white one because that's what I have, but you can also use just like a light shade, like the creamy ones. Anything that you would put in your waterline to kind of open your eye up will be perfect for this. And one that kind of easily rubs out. So what I'm doing is I'm just tracing how I think I want the eyeliner to look and I'm just gonna do that really lightly with a light hand. I know it doesn't look like I'm using a light hand, but I promise I am. Yeah, and I'm just gonna do that on both eyes until I'm kind of happy and you'll see that using a light eyeliner is really good for this because I actually decided that I preferred the second eye. So I just went ahead and kind of rubbed it out with my fingers. I suppose I should have used a makeup wipe or something, but it rubs out perfectly, so it was fine. And then I just went back in and kind of redrew the new shape to match the second eye, which is the one that I preferred. And yeah, I also think using a light colour and the reason I chose white specifically is because it kind of works as a base so that when you put the colour on, it really, really pops. And I suppose it also works as a primer as well. I left this clip in of me just doing this just to show to you guys that I really am taking my time and making small adjustments until I kind of feel like it's almost perfect. I don't think it's ever going to be absolutely perfect, but just to show you guys, it's just really important to take your time in this step so that you can get the look how you want it to look. And I also have to stress that this is super important because everybody's eyes are different so everybody's shape is going to be a little bit different when it comes to the liner. I've got slightly hooded eyes so I tried to keep the liner on top of my crease just so that it didn't disappear. Once my eyes are open. Once you're happy with the shape we are going to use a liquid liner or you can use, I used a liquid eyeshadow by Huda Beauty. I just took it on an angled brush and went over my initial lines. As you guys can see, it's looking really messy right now, but we're gonna fix that. So after drawing the liner on for the first time, I just repeated that process once more, just to make the color a bit more opaque. As you guys can see, I wasn't really sure if it looked good or not, but you guys just wait. So then I'm gonna go in with another angled brush and some micellar water, and I'm just gonna clean up the shape and the lines and kind of perfect it. Making sure to wipe off all the product that I'm removing with a cotton bud and also cleaning off the brush on a micellar soaked cotton pad as well to get the kind of cleanest result possible. Mm. 
yeah, you guys can see it's really, really kind of taking form now. I was so proud of this, you guys. I'm just going to go back in with that Huda Beauty powder because I needed to clean up just under my eyes. I'm using this Huda Beauty cream contour slash bronzer just to warm up my face and give it a bit of structure and you guys this is beautiful as well. I've been sleeping on Huda Beauty. It's just such a beautiful colour. I'm using the fair, like the lightest one I believe and I think it just gives a really nice natural kind of tone so yeah i'm just going to contour my nose a little bit as well because i really want my face to as i said before look perfect so that the liner is really the standout standout part of the makeup After that, I'm gonna go in with my blush on a beauty blender. I'm using a cream blush by Colourpop. I have been obsessed with this lately. I think it's in the shade Roosevelt. I wear it every single day. I I don't know, I, the bronzer just stopped for me for a little while and I was like, ooh, blush. Okay, so then we're gonna go in with brown mascara. I don't know if it's just me or not, but I really like brown and pink together. So I thought brown mascara would kind of look a little bit softer with the pink and a little bit more natural. And then I'm gonna move on to the freckles and I'm using this product called Freck and it's amazing. It's designed specifically for faux freckles and literally all you do is draw some freckles on and then dab it with your finger and kind of spread it around your face and it gives you a really, really natural finish. And yeah, it's just a cute little look, you know? And then I'm just drawing back in my little beauty spots because I feel like the foundation covers them. I always do this and I'm using a brown Colourpop liquid eyeliner. And now onto my lips. This is one of my favourite combos at the moment. This Huda Beauty liner, well you can see I've used it a lot. It's very well loved. It's in the shade Spice and it's just the most beautiful, natural, kind of deepish nude. And then I'm going in with a Colourpop, uh, what are these called? I can't remember but like a lip crayon. Don't remember the name but I'll let you know and I'm gonna lighten that up also with this white lipstick. It's just made to kind of change the tone and color of, um, of your lipstick if you fancy it. I'm just going back in with the first two products that I use on my lips just to kind of redefine the outside of my lips and just perfect it. The last product is this Bare Minerals lip gloss. I love it. I feel like it's plumbing because it's super minty and it just looks beautiful and adds a bit more of a pink tone. And then all you're gonna do is set with a setting spray and you are done. This one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it smells absolutely delicious. Okay, are you ready for the look? All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope that I was able to help some of you guys. I know I don't have like the best techniques and stuff, but the most important thing is to have fun with it, right? So yeah, I hope you guys don't hate my hair. I promise it's gonna get better, <laughs> um, but I love it and I'm just excited for the shower. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.